Hello everyone and welcome to Fun Day Sunday at Bell Art Attractions. We are your weekly guide as always. Bi-weekly guide, we're doing it. Or is it bi-weekly? Isn't that once every two weeks or is it twice a week? I always get confused. It's twice a week. Twice a week, I believe. We've we'll been coming here twice a week Wednesdays, now. Wednesdays and blonde. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we are your bi-weekly uh, guide to all the arts attractions events. She's Nella, I'm Boyana, as if you didn't already know, but just to remind you, that's who we are. Please subscribe to um, stay abreast of everything that's happening in Belgrade, even, even during these times. There are still events you can visit. Uh, that have got all the, the the right measures in place, so there's no need to fear going to an exhibition. There are disinfection stations, uh, masks are enforced, and social distancing. So if you're even if you're popping out to the shops and you're nearby a venue, do pop in and get your dose of culture. Yeah, and remember that you know a false face completely broke this. False oh. face will save your time. <laughs> yes, <laughs> what she said, or she said. <laughs> anyway, what we have this week is uh, we have two exhibitions uh, coming up. Both of yes. them are at Dom Omelette in the Valveta, that's on McKellen's Pet 22. Yes. Now, listen up for the times, and please, before you go anywhere, make sure that you get online and you check, check. if the times have changed because we are in flux at the moment yeah we've heard rumors i mean everyone's keep you know we all hear rumors all the time so the best thing is just to check on the website before you go to make sure the times haven't changed but what we know now is that tuesday to friday it's 12 pm until closing saturdays it's 12 pm until 6 pm and mm -hmm. then mondays uh the theaters uh closed Mm -hmm. So let's get into it. Do you, have, do yes. you want to tell us about the first? I do. There will be uh, well, the first exhibition that we know about in Dom Omladine is by uh, a photographer called Tatiana Rantasha, and the exhibition is called Gestetica. I really, really, really love that name. I'm doing jazz hands. <laughs> and as you can imagine, it is about jazz. It's actually about. Um, all the jazz musicians she has met uh, from northern from North Macedonia over the last 15 years. So just following the the the, um, the different generations of Macedonian jazz artists, and there will be I think it's just pictures. I'm not sure if there's texts in it. No, no, I think this one's just this was just just pictures. But yeah. Um, yeah, that sounds really really cool. So it does. It does. Yeah. We also have. Uh, Tamara Spalajkovic, I'm not good at these names. Sve što smo stvarili postoji da uništi. So that's everything that we've created is sort of there to be destroyed. And it's a very existential look at man and, you know, the sort of journey that we've come through, um, where we're going in life. But it sounds dystopian, but what I really, what we read about before, <laughs> <laughs> what we really liked about it is that it, it explores the theme of how we as humans, everything we create is designed to be destroyed at some point. We, yeah. It explores yeah. our self-destructiveness. Yeah, well, we are we are by nature quite self-destructive, and um, yeah, it sounds it sounds interesting. You know, it sounds I don't know. I like existentialism. Bring me some Sartre and Camus anytime. Anyway, that's happening from today. That's the sixth of December until the eleventh of December. Mm -hmm. um, so go check those two out. Just again, Tatiana Rantasha's Gestetic, which is on. Today, it's the last day, the 6th of December, mm -hmm. and then um, uh, Tamara Spalajkovic's uh, yeah. existential piece, which is text and visual. It's from today until the 11th of December. And so finally, we have some a digital event, well, one digital event. Yes, you wanted to talk about this one, I believe. Well, well I mean, I would in, addition, in addition to Bell Arts Attraction, <laughs> There's another digital event going on. It's a live streaming one-man show by Bratislav Petkovic called Kashkader, which means a stuntman. Yeah, some, what I liked about this one is that uh, it uh, explores his, does it explore his career? Or it just explores the yeah, career of stuntmen? In, in the 80s, when it was like super dangerous. I thought it in the 60s. In the 60s, sorry. 60s, girl. I'm stuck in the 80s. <laughs> 
But can you imagine how dangerous it was being a stuntman in the 60s uh, and all of the tricks they had to use for their health and safety? I think a lot of them died. Well, no, it, it comes... I don't know if you guys uh, watched the Formula One, but I watched it uh, this last weekend and uh, there was a massive crash and the guy just walked out of it with... he burned his hands. And the, the way that technology has come forward these days to just keep us safe is incredible. So I cannot imagine if a car blew up in the 60s, where does that I think be? those were the real alpha, alpha stunt men and women back then. So I think that's, that, and you don't even have to leave your house for that. That's brilliant. It's live streaming on YouTube and it's hosted by Theater 34. And it starts this Thursday on the 10th of December at 8 p.m. So put your reminders on. The, the link is down there below somewhere. So I'm gonna I'll definitely, Put that on my recording. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. But what what do you think of these live streaming events? You know that have sort of cropped up during the pandemic. Um, you know, I actually haven't tried any of them yet. You but haven't? no, but I do think that now in this time we do need to adapt, and it, it will. It's, it's it's something. It's a novel thing to try, and that's that's been my main thing during this period is is creating novelty for myself and i think that's really important that we as humans we need something new something fresh and to look at somebody else's perspective you know in order to feel to relate to it yeah what yeah. do you think about it i mean I, you know when it started pink pink you know the singer she used to do these women not pink the tv channel no no, no the singer, okay. the singer. <laughs> <laughs> she used to do these uh she was doing these workouts with a trainer so on, on Instagram Live, so it would be half of the of your phone, because I watch on my phone, would be her trainer, and half would be her doing them together. And then they'd interact with the audience, and it was really, really great. Oh, brilliant. Um, you know, you can either you know, work out with pink or, or yeah. just watch. And then a lot of comedians have obviously taken, um, uh, taken to live streaming, uh, a lot of interviews, face-to-face -face interviews, things like that, um, also happening on live streams. So it's very so intimate it's, and interactive. Yeah, and I think I think we're so forgiving as an audience because we're not requiring high production value or anything like that right now. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we sort of take it as it comes. But I am seeing the level of production really improving. Yeah, as, yeah. you know, people try and set themselves apart. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking We're of very high level. Of setting themselves apart, I, I don't know if you watch Netflix, YouTube shows, all of that. Yes, yes, yeah. I do. I, I'm, I'm a Netflix girl. What what sort of catches your eye? You know, they've got the, the you know, they've got the, the algorithm. So whatever you watch, that's the sort of shows they they you recommend. You know, I think I, I, I'm I'm a serial trailer watcher. I, I will spend an hour watching all the different trailers and putting things on my list that I want to watch. And then, I don't know, it, it really is, for me, it's the trailer that, that, that does it. The thumbnail, not so much. And perhaps maybe it's the reviews from other people. If I've heard that something's mm -hmm. really popular, I think about it, you know, I look at, to see if the, the subject's matter is interesting to me. Mm -hmm. And that what makes, that's what makes me watch a Netflix mm -hmm. channel. You see, for me, yeah. it's, it's definitely the name of the show. Really? Definitely. Ooh. Definitely. I am a judge of book by its cover girl all the way. So what? What? Yeah. What, 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 what? It's the words. It's the words. <laughs> what? Which uh, show in particular? On Netflix was was that kind of grab up for you? Like uh, Queen's Gambit, for example. I just like the name. Do you know what it sounds? Right. The, the picture of the lady, yeah. the, the main actress. Sorry, I catch you. No, off no, go book. on. I was just gonna say it reminds me of a shrimp bowl, like <laughs> Queen's Gambit. No, I mean. <laughs> It's, that's that's me just relating everything to food. But go on. <laughs> it's not Queen's Gumbo. <laughs> that would be my show on Netflix. Look out for it, the Queen's Gumbo. I think we've spent too much time inside. Are you wanting to go out at all? I am. I am. I need to get out. <laughs> or get in. Get in more. Get into stuff. Get into live streaming. More Netflix shows. No, I don't know. Hey, I've, I've just found that there's a... There's a lot of people who are just staying in now, and I think it might have to do with the cold weather and stuff, and then not really wanting to go out. If you look at the city, it's quite 
It's a ghost town. It's a ghost town. This That's what town. it was. Okay, I'm, I'm really not going to sing. I'm sorry. Why not? You have a lovely singing voice. Thank you. Thank you. But you know, I'm just one of those annoying people that just gets triggered and wants to sing a song with certain words. But um, you know, I forgot all the other questions we wanted to go through. Was there another question we had? Well, there's just one question, but it's a little bit deep. Ooh, I like deep. Do you think artists have to suffer for their art? I and do hope you, not. Wait, wait, wait. It's a two-part question. Do you think they have to suffer for their art to be relevant, first of all? Mm -hmm. And then do you think that they have to suffer in the sense that they always get sort of pushed down to the bottom of the pile of importance? There is that. There is that definitely where... Um, I don't think artists are given as much value as they deserve and that value is tied to popularity per se. So artists, yeah, artists is as valuable as it is relatable to the majority of people, but doesn't mean that it's not valuable. And the suffering itself, I think it probably comes from maybe that material side of wanting to live from your art. And that's, that's perhaps where artists can suffer. But I believe, I believe, I believe we are all artists and that you don't need to be rich, you don't need to make money from it in order to create and enjoy it. You don't have to suffer needlessly. But if artists were on top of the hierarchy like the same as how we view doctors and accountants, do you, do you think it would form like a catch-22? Will their art like not be as good or will they not? Or what do you think, in an alternative universe, what do you think will happen? Ooh, that's a good question. Well, I don't know if you're democratizing art, then it means that you're, you're just making it available for everyone and you're making it so that it's on everyone, on, the, on a level playing field or mainstream, basically. And if you're doing that and, and you're also democratizing it in a way where it, it has to make money, like accountants and doctors, um, all of that, then well, we have artists making more money than uh, no, no, I doctors and... Yeah, but those are your mainstream artists again. That's you know. true. But they're also, sorry to interrupt you, but no, they're no. also, um, they're not really as respected though. They're like looked down upon like... But who looks down upon them? The people that think they're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> because if you look at, like art for me is a, a commentary, it's social commentary. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. we are living in such a good time that there's nothing to really commentate about, you know, pre-pandemic especially. We're living in the best time. I mean, we're alive longer, we have best health care, the poorest people live better than rich people 100, 150 years ago used to live. We've, we've got all of that. So now I feel like artists are creating... This is why art is stupid now if you're talking about the mainstream artists. Well, it's not that they're stupid, it's just mm -hmm. the view from non-artists, yeah. that's what I meant. But there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, um, I don't know, I, I, I still like the commentary. I don't know if you guys know the band System of a Down. Um, yes. They haven't performed for 15 years. They put, sorry, my bad. They perform, but they haven't written new material, and they haven't written new material because they have creative differences. But uh, since there's been turmoil in, um, um, Armenia, where they're from. Their home country, yeah. They've released two songs uh, from which the proceeds will go to, to support whatever. I, I don't want to get into the politics of it is happening. But are you but saying that, that the suffering has inspired yes, them exactly. to create exactly. the arts? So exactly. suffering is in effect uh, tied to arts in, in any case. Well, misery loves company. Yes. So does happiness. I like happy people. Baby shark doo 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 doo. Baby shark. Okay, hey, uh, we're moms. You just revealed yourself. You revealed yourself. <laughs> well, I'm saying people are saying that's art, but that's like. <laughs> so we hope you've enjoyed a little bit of uh, art injection on this lovely fun day Sunday. And whatever you do, do get out, have a walk into an exhibition or if you, that's not really your thing there are so many artists doing things on YouTube and live streaming so we've given you a few examples down here 
and uh, what I want is I want you to get into the comments and let me know what you think about the topics we've discussed. Um, I I'm, I'm, I'm topics. really, really interested, yeah. interested to know. What are the topics again? Nice. So, um, in terms of what you think of, you know, staying home, watching live streams, what artists are doing on live streams, how these are being marketed to us, you know, through the various thumbnails of YouTube or Netflix or whatever, if we're talking about mainstream or not so mainstream. Um, whether you're staying home or going out during lockdown, are you supporting? I mean, my hairdresser downstairs closed. Uh, as you can see, because people <laughs> just aren't going anymore. So are you going out to support the small businesses, to support artists, or are you staying at home? Like, how are you feeling? And finally, do you feel that art is suffering and that artists have to suffer in whichever way you decide to look at it? Um, yeah, I think you've covered it all. On, on a Sunday, we got a little serious, huh? Well. That's what some things are for. You know, I used to do this back home in the UK. I used to meet up with my family and friends after church, sit down in the cafe and just, we just used to talk about life. And I just, I find that really relaxing. Don't Cathartic. know about you. Cathartic. Yeah. Cathartic, yeah. So get in on the conversation. We'd love to talk to you. And maybe we might even live stream one day. What do you think about that? Mm, that would be fun. You can get into the, co the, the, the conversation. So yay. Yeah. And but the more the merrier. Always the more the merrier. As always, please do hit the subscribe button. Um, email us at bellartsattractions at gmail.com. You can also email the bro channel at bellgradeartnews at gmail.com. Well done for remembering that. That's I almost forgot. <laughs> I say it every <laughs> week. But, uh, <gasps> That's us signing off. We've been Bell Arts Attractions. Bye. 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 -bye.